Well, good morning. It's uh, Sunday, September 11th. Uh, 21 years since uh, that day. I uh, remember it well, as most of us do that are of this age. Um, but yeah, it's another beautiful day today up here. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, that day in 2001. It's a little smoky here, but hey, today we are going to continue on uh, with this. Uh, actually, we're going to pick up something new today. Um, we're going to look at, uh, well, we're going to get started on the autopilot uh, pitch and roll uh, mounting for, uh, for that, those pitch and roll servos. So we're just gonna get started on that, see where we get. Don't know how long the day is gonna be today, but uh, we've got, uh, got some other stuff we need to get done outside of the airplane. Uh, so we'll see what we can get done today and then uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, here we go. All right, changing gears here a little bit. Uh, when we locate the mount plate for the pitch servo, um, it's gonna be proximate to where the fuel pump mount plate is located. So I wanna make sure we get this in the right spot and so that we don't put, if we get this in the wrong spot, so we don't wanna to be too far over on that thing, just make sure everything is uh, fitting good. Getting this fuel filter uh, ready, I just wanted to put it together. I'm not final assembling it, but I just wanted to put it together so we could check that mount plate uh, in the fuselage. But uh, So one thing you have to do on this fuel filter is they say you have to put it in the short configuration, or you're supposed to put it in the short configuration. And this is for a Titan IO 340. So what you do is remove this AN fitting here. There's an O supposedly a rubber o-ring in there we're gonna find out and then uh, you attach put that o-ring onto this AN fitting on the filter and then attach the filter directly to this uh, discarding this uh, AN fitting maybe So there's the O-ring. Yeah. And then we've got our fuel direction, fuel flow this way. So we'll put that O-ring on there. And then this will attach to that like so I'm not going to tighten this down right now because we'll come back later and get this all finalized but this is just so we can get the so we can do this uh, mount plate just we're doing this for reference okay working away at this here and uh, one thing that we did when we did this plate was uh, they got a measurement for the top corner hole for the fuel pump fuel pump mount is there. So now that we've got this in here and we got our, uh, there's two nut plates under here. So those are done and uh, we will put the fuel pump on this corner and that's going to be the basis of where the other nut plates go. There's going to be a nut plate under here on each corner 
So we've got the fuel pump on here and we'll mark those off, get the nut plates installed, then we can actually secure the fuel pump onto the mount plate. And once that's done, we'll mark and trim this excess material off here. There's a clamp. This clamp will be underneath, but uh, it'll be, you know, up up in here is where that's going to bolt in. But so this the rest of this can just that's excess material that can come off. So we'll trim that off. And uh, yeah, so we'll keep keep uh, plugging away at it here. All right, we've got our fuel pump just, it's not tight, but just screwed into the uh, nut plates. And next thing we're doing is we're gonna do a nut plate for this uh, filter uh, clamp. And the filter clamp goes on, and you can go ahead and do that. Just goes on up to the edge, up to that, that center seam of the, of the filter. What I had to do is when I go to put this in, I had to really kinda I had to bend this clamp. Got to kind of put a bend in it right here. It's it's straight out of the bag. It was straight to about right there. So I had to do a bend in it. So, but it's it's there. We got our hole marked. We're gonna center punch that. We'll drill that out. Put a nut plate in. Then we'll be able to put that on there. Okay. Got our uh, mount for the fuel pump done. Uh, got all of the nut plates done and got it trimmed, gonna do some trimming on there. Uh, you can see I just trimmed it up along the line of that tube. Uh, and then the other side just right, uh, just adjacent to where the bolt hole is and then up to that, that corner. Uh, I took it, we trimmed it right up to where the back of the fuel pump frame is on this side. It's, it's not straight across, just take note of that. It's not straight across, so. Yep, at least that's how it shows in the figures manual, but we got that done. We'll get this, uh, got it sanded and uh, cleaned, so we'll prime this up, and uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. It's another nice day today. Smoke is starting to creep back in. Sounds like we're due for some more smoke this week. So we'll see what happens. Hey, we're wrapped up for the day here. I've uh, got that fuel pump mount uh, primed, cleaned and primed, ready to go uh, for installation. And uh, like I said, it was not gonna be a super long day today. Uh, we got that part done. Actually, as you saw earlier, we were gonna get started on the servo mounts for the autopilot uh, let's see that was going to be the pitch and roll servo mounts but we didn't get that far because we decided to get that done just make sure we get everything in the right place there so that's where we're at with that and um, yeah hey uh, thanks for watching have a good evening and that's it for now